So evening tickets to a play are twenty four fifty each, and tickets to the afternoon show are only nineteen dollars each. So Janice wants to buy six tickets. We want to arrange the terms from these options below to construct the expression Janice would use to determine how much less she would spend if she chooses an afternoon show instead of an evening show. So how much would she save if she bought six afternoon tickets instead of uh, six evening tickets? <clears throat> So we've got these symbols, we've got plus, we've got the number six, division, left parentheses, minus, the dollar amount, twenty-four fifty. had to squeeze that in there, right parentheses, $19, and the other choice is one half. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes we have to fill in. So let me first off say that I think this is totally a contrived little problem, and uh, I don't like it, but... Uh, it's one of the practice questions, so let's talk about it. Okay. The reason why I don't like it is you're forced to somehow give them the answer they want. There's, there's definitely more than one way to do this. So, all right, well, to start off, I mean, intuitively, right, to do this, we want to figure out the total cost of six evening tickets. And so if we know the total cost of six evening tickets, that's going to be, well, six multiplied by 24.50. Right, if she bought six at that rate of 24.50, well, we could subtract from that the total cost of six evening tickets, or excuse me, six uh, afternoon tickets. And when we figure out that price difference, that's going to be how much she would save. So we would subtract 6 multiplied by $19. Right, that's going to be the more expensive rate. We subtract away the, the, the cheaper rate. That would be, you know, how much more she's paying to, to, to buy the evening tickets instead of the afternoon tickets. Well, unfortunately, if you try to fit this into 1, 2, 3, 4, if you try to fit, you know, if 6 goes in one box, and then the parentheses goes in another box, and then you put 2450 in another box, and then you put a right parentheses in another box, and the minus sign in another box, and a 6 in another box, all of a sudden you've used all 6 boxes. So we can't, we're, we, we don't have enough boxes to write it like, like this. Um, we don't have enough boxes to write this expression. <clears throat> so the idea is we could actually just factor out the 6 since it's involved in both of these expressions. Equivalently, you could think, you know, if she only bought one ticket, what's the price difference? Well, the price difference of one ticket would be 24.50 minus 19. Right, that's how much she would be saving per ticket. And then we would multiply that by 6. So this is the answer that they're looking for, although this is also 100% valid and correct. So to write it, we would have 6, we'd have a left parentheses, we would have 2450 um, minus 19, and then we would have a right parentheses. So that would be the answer that they're looking for.